graph the equation using the intercept method. Problem number 7. 2x minus 5y equals negative 10. So if we are looking for intercepts and we are supposed to use the intercept method, we are basically plugging in zeros. So I made myself a little table. And these are coordinates. I have my x-coordinate and my y-coordinate, and I already plugged in zeros. So first, I am going to find my x-intercept, and as you can see, there's a zero for y. I am going to plug in a zero for y in my original equation. 2x minus 5, and now instead of y, I have zero, and I am going to solve for x. So right over here, negative 5 times zero is just 0 gone and I'm left with 2x equals negative 10. Solving for x, so dividing by 2 on both sides, x equals negative 5. So my x value is negative 5 and this would represent my x-intercept. And we can check that on our coordinate system to plot that as a point. So negative 5 on the x-axis, this is x, this is y and zero so right over here now to find my y-intercept I have to do the same but this time I'm going to plug in a zero for x so yet let's use our original equation plugging in a zero for x and this time solving for y two times zero is zero so that cancels out and we are left with negative five y equals negative ten dividing by negative five on both sides we get y equals a negative over a negative is a positive 2. So my y-intercept would be at 0, 2. 0 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. So right over here. So this is at 0, 2. And this is considered our y-intercept because it is intercepting the y-axis. Connecting these two points will give me my linear equation.